So this is a nice short story, good and concise. Bernie Sanders, of course, the terrible sexist that CNN, obviously a great overlord, uh, tells us is exactly what happened. No, we're, we're just joking. Uh, Bernie Sanders <laughs> just won the Nevada, Nevada Teachers Union. It's actually the fifth largest union for teachers in the entire country. This is in uh, the Clark County, which is Vegas. This is 19,000 people. There was a, a straw poll done, and uh, it was overwhelming. And it was overwhelming for Sanders. And what I did notice in the article, and I kind of see, especially with Vegas, but it still kind of works out, is that there's some trepidation that they seem to have with Medicare for All, because they're like, hey, look, mm-hmm. we took all this effort to you know, get, get these concessions made, and now Medicare for All is here. But I think even with that, because I remember it was a little bit stronger before, even ne- but now they're like, look, we don't like that part. We may not support that part, but overall Sanders is still vastly superior as a choice to us for Mm -hmm. either education or the culinary union or everyone else and everyone again a constant thing with bernie sanders they just believe him when he says he's going to fight for them so yeah that's it (laughs) and and that is that that i mean it makes sense to me that teachers would be um, supporting Sanders, um, one of the things they brought up in that article that I thought was a really great point, and um, it, it's really funny because we had a conversation about college um, at one mm-hmm. of our la- in one of the last shows that I was on, and one of the one of the things stated is that a lot of the members of this particular union support Bernie Sanders because of his uh, debt forgiveness around college and for students. And I was thinking about it, I'm like, well, yeah, of course, because as a teacher. It's hard to make a decent wage without a master's degree. So your kind, your hand is kind of forced in this field to get this higher education that's going to cost you upwards of well, at least five digits, right? If not, you know, I, I know a lot of people who are in six-digit debt right now because of master's degrees, and so it totally makes sense on 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 that front. And the hesitancy, of course, makes sense because uh, you know our media is feeding us a bunch of stuff about how Medicare for all will not be as good as the insurance, even though, you know, even people opposing Bernie Sanders have said it'd be the Cadillac of insurance. And so I think uh, I think there's a little bit of misleading going on there. And, you know, I don't know, maybe there are people out there that like their insurance that we haven't met yet. Who knows? There aren't. Okay. <laughs> I- there See, aren't. I told you, I get gaslighted really <laughs> easily. Or is it gaslit? Yes, I mean, sure. <laughs> I way. really don't think there's anyone out there that's like, oh, I've, I really like my particular insurance. Maybe they've got really good coverage, right? But I don't think they're like, oh, I really like my Blue, Cor- Blue Cross Blue Shield or Aetna or whatever. You know what people really like? That they got a good doctor with their health care plan, which is ironic because... Everyone was saying uh, that this, this, this weird talk. Man, I don't. I, it's like they keep like losing these arguments. So now they're at kind of like the bin of like really bad arguments where they're like, um, people like their insurance and they would like to. Uh, they need choice in the it. market. Yeah. Well, I mean, and this is. I mean, this is 100% anecdotal evidence. But I went my entire adult life without any health insurance until I got married, and I met. I married someone who works for the federal government. So now I went from nothing to like the best insurance there is that you can get. And I'll tell you what, like copays still suck. You know, I still have to pay to go to the doctor, and a large portion of my husband's check comes out every single month. I think it's upwards of somewhere around like eight hundred dollars. So right, but there's no choice here, right? If if one okay, I know we got into Medicare for all, but if the the one system is look, it is free at the point of care, period, right? There's no bill that comes after the fact. There are no copays. There are no deductibles. It's part of taxes. It's going to be paid in a progressive way. No one's like, yeah, but I like my plan that that has lower deductibles than other people have to mm-hmm. pay because it makes me feel like I'm special because I bought this special plan. No. Would you want to pay money to get that plan and still have some copay and deductible that you have mm-hmm. to pay just to feel good about the fact that you have access to doctors that are out of network yeah. while you get to laugh at the people who don't you know, have the plan that you have can't afford that plan. That doesn't make your plan better. That just makes other people's plan worse. And by the way, you're still paying for that plan. Mm -hmm. Well, and Gray Walker, uh, vet for Tulsi, made a great point. Eye dental hearing. We actually pay separate for Mm -hmm. dental. Yep. Um, and, and so it's like, even though here I am bragging Mm -hmm. about my amazing insurance, it's, it's, I, I can see better. I can see better. And here's the other thing in, 
just about any other developed nation, your best insurance is trash. It's like, they're like, okay, I got all this stuff. I don't have to pay a deductible. I don't have to pay a copay. I don't have to do any of these things. I just, you know, we have taxes and there's no, and there's not going to be a point. So if you get, you know, very sick with some random disease, if, especially if it's a rare disease, you're not going to be on the line with the insurance going and deciding whether or not you or they have to pay the million dollars for this mm -hmm. experimental treatment or healthcare going, mm, not sure it's actually necessary. I'm not a doctor. I don't have any medical experience. We don't but want to I pay know, for that. I know those things. Yeah. I know that it's not there. But it's like, you know, you, I mean, it's like, like you said, it's like it's amazing to have health insurance and going from nothing to having it is an enormous swing. Um, and he, I'm still not impressed, is my point. I'm still yeah. not horribly impressed with my, my health insurance. And so I just keep thinking, like, well, s certainly I'm missing something, right? It's like, I should be a person that yeah. loves my health insurance. And, and like I said, we can do better. And so this back and forth, I'm sure, is exactly what is also going on with the teachers in Nevada who have gotten to the point where they're like, even though that's there and we've put in all this effort to get health insurance, it's... Bernie is still worth it for us. So yeah. good on them uh, in Nevada. But of course, as we know, I just heard from CNN, all the teachers are sexist and anti-Semitic and too old and too male. So, oh, well, yeah. you heard it here first, folks. So uh, the, the thing I think that is, you brought up uh, at the beginning, you were talking about, Kira, that teachers uh, like that Sanders talks about debt forgiveness when it comes to uh you know, student loans, college tuition, free state and local col uh, college tuition. The other thing I think that, that that resonates with teachers is not just that they themselves need to have a master's degree in order to, to work in their line of, in their profession, but teachers in general really value education for everyone. And like if any group of the population wants to see everyone get as educated as possible, that wants to see people, wants to live in an educated society, it's teachers. Teachers often really feel like education is one of, if not the primary mm -hmm. factor to pulling our, pu pulling our society up. Yeah. And, well, and they're, not, they're not wrong. Yeah. Well, in the state of Nevada, I, I think that article said is a thousand teachers short right now mm -hmm. teaching sh like in my opinion of a perfect society teaching should be one of those professions that people are competing for this should be the profession that we have some of our best and brightest competing for and you're not going to get that when teachers are making yeah. 30 even fifty thousand dollars a year i mean i like a, even i make less than fifty thousand dollars a year but teachers <laughs> ought to make you know, more than that. And I want to give a shout out to, of all places, authoritarian China, because in their eyes, they're, I mean, it's exactly, they, they are putting the cart in the right place. They go, uh, the people that are in college go, I am really competitive. I'm the top of my class. Uh, I'm going to try and be a teacher. And if I can't do that, maybe I'll be a doctor or a lawyer. And that's how they look at it. Teachers are paid incredibly well. They're revered. And there's money for teaching because, I don't know, in a knowledge era that we're in, where people knowing things is the value, a huge amount of value that is of the economy, might be helpful to have some really smart people in that nation. 